overview for week 16, days 106 through 109. So um, day 106 took a zero um, in Mazama Village, which is right near Crater Lake. So um, really nice, it was Calzone's birthday. So we decided to take um, the trolley up to Crater Lake and luckily it wasn't too smoky that day. Um, so yeah, we went up there, had lunch, beautiful view. So I'll show you all that later on. Um, and yeah, just did some chores, enjoyed the day. Um, yeah, Crater Lake is amazing. So, um, oh gosh, my little thing fell off again. Um, I'll just hmm, put that aside. So yeah, Crater Lake's amazing. I didn't realize it was um, kind of like an imploded volcano. Um, <laughs> I thought it was from, I'm, I'm not really sure actually, but um, yeah, really interesting to learn how it was, it was uh, formed. So yeah, amazing views. Um, <clears throat> day 107 hiked out so took the rim trail which I highly recommend it's um, an alternate for the PCT an alternate trail so it's not technically the PCT but I think most people take it because it's just too hard to pass up <laughs> um, so yeah beautiful views um, I think that particular part of the trail was like nine miles or something but um yeah just gorgeous so again I have footage for you um on that and um ended up hiking into um a camp that had a beautiful view of Mount Thielsen so it's like a really pointy mountain um and I ended up being by myself at this huge camp um and so I rolled in kind of like at sunset so it was it was nice to set up and just having a nice view of the mountain um but during the night, it was really quiet, but I heard like three different rock slides. So that was a little bit um, scary, but <laughs> otherwise, um, yeah, great day. Um, and that was uh, officially the halfway point for us. So really exciting. Um, 13,025, uh, I'm sorry, 13,000, um, 1,325 miles um, is the halfway point for the PCT. So we hit that yesterday or um, on that day. Um, Day 108 was kind of uneventful. Um, I don't even really remember what happened that day. Uh, yeah, but I made like 24 miles. There were a lot of mosquitoes still and had a long, um, long water carry. So there's, I'm kind of surprised at the water carry lengths in Oregon. Um, I wasn't really expecting that. So um, luckily I have a capacity of, um, just about four liters and I've been using that a lot um, we have consistent 20 mile carries so it's very interesting to to learn that about Oregon I thought it was kind of a wet year but uh, and it, I guess it was but maybe the water carries are worse in um, drought years so uh, yeah and then um, day 109 I have to remember <laughs> I think I need some caffeine um, what happened on day 109 um, gosh, I know something big happened, <laughs> but, um, I'll have to look at my notes and get back to you on that one. I'm, um, still in week 16, but, um, yeah, a lot's happened. So I will get back to you on day 109. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> of course, day 109. Um, so we hiked into Shelter Cove that day. Um, which was just like a couple days ago. So I don't know what's wrong with me, but, um, too much hiking, I guess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hiked into Shelter Cove. And before we did that, we, um, went to Summit Lake and went swimming. Um, and actually the first spot, uh, Calzone was in front of me and she went to this like first spot. And, um, there was this like a guy camping right by the water, right where like the PCT joins, um, that area. So we had kind of a longer carry that morning. So a lot of PCT hikers, I think would go to that spot to get water. So she walked up and, um, the guy was really rude to her and said like, Oh, do you just walk through anybody's camp and all this stuff? And so she just kind of like said, okay, hey, all right, we'll go somewhere else. But it was like the first point to get water in a long time so I don't think that guy realized that and he was just like a grumpy old man so um anyway we decided to go to a different spot which ended up being better um this and I'll, I'll show you some footage of that of Summit Lake too where we ended up going swimming so um took a longer lunch it was just beautiful and one of our friends a rag doll came and swam with us too so we just took a longer lunch and sunbathed and it was just 
but that was my first uh, lake swim on this trail. So it was just lovely. So I'm gonna do that more often now. Um, uh, yeah, so did that and then hiked into Shelter Cove, um, got our bearings and we decided to stealth camp. Um, and so by that time, we kind of hiked out of Shelter Cove a little bit and set up. And as we were setting up, it was dark and my headlamp was not working. So I need to get a new headlamp, but um, we were setting up and a train rolls by like right next to where we're setting up our tents. But we were so tired at that point. We did like, I think 28 miles that day. Um, so we were so tired, we were just like, you know what, whatever, we're just going to keep setting up and deal with this train situation. So um, I have footage of that too in the morning. It was just hilarious. I opened my tent fly and, um, you know, I saw Calzone's, I had a view of Calzone's tent and then the train tracks right in the background. So I'll show you that. Um, it's kind of a comical uh, situation. So, so yeah, um, uh, just good stretch, good day, longer water carries, and um, I will update you on the rest of the week soon. Good morning. <clears throat> Update for the rest of week 16. Days 110 through 112. So day 110, we took a narrow shelter cove, and I think I mentioned this before, but we like stealth camped near a train track, which was kind of a bummer. Uh, I didn't really get a ton of sleep. So if you're a PCT hiker, I'd recommend just staying at Shelter Cove. Um, I think the camp area for PCT hikers is donation based. Um, so it's um, further from the train track. So I would do that next time. Um, so yeah, anyway, we took a near Nero at Shelter Cove. Really great place. Um, Apparently there's great pizzas there, but they didn't have any dough, unfortunately, and they have gluten-free too. So, um, unfortunately I missed out on that, but um, I still got some pretty good food there. There's a resupply, but it's a little expensive. So I sent myself a box. So I took care of that stuff, took a shower, did some laundry, um, and just enjoyed talking with all the PCT hikers. Um, again, really cute spot. So it was really, really nice. And then um, ended up hiking out um, later in the day. And um, we hiked about like five, I'd say five miles to Middle Rosary Lake, which is really um, a beautiful spot. And there weren't too many mosquitoes. So um, that was really nice. Um, day 111 was my first 30 mile day. Actually, I think I did about just over 31 miles um so yeah it was it was a good day um had an energy surge I don't know if I got something like a runner's high or hiker's high at the end but um got an energy surge the last like five miles so that was kind of nice um I rode that out <laughs> and um we camped by Mac Lake um and there were a lot of tents there already um we got in kind of late because we did so many miles um and I noticed that when we came up to the campsite, someone built a fire and didn't put it out properly. So that's really important if you're gonna go out in the back country, know how to put out fire properly, especially because we're in Oregon right now and it is fire season. So when I came up, the um, <clears throat> logs were still smoking and there were like embers and nobody bothered to like put it out properly. So I ended up doing that because um, I have a bucket so I put it out and um, stirred it multiple times. So I put water on it, stirred it, and then checked for the temperature until it was cool enough um, to where I was comfortable with it. So yeah, if you go out in the back country, please learn how to put out fires properly. <laughs> Don't want to start one. Um, so yeah, good day, first 30 day, 30 mile day. Um, so I know I can handle it now. I know I wanted to do a couple in Oregon, so one down. Um, and day 112, 
Um, oh, I'm trying to think of what happened day 112. I keep forgetting now. My memory is getting kind of bad. Um, hiked about 24 miles and um, I had pretty low energy that day. Um, so luckily, yeah, didn't hike too far or anything. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think, I'm, I can't remember where we camped, but I think it was, um, oh, we passed South Sister. So it was like a, um, when I actually really needed a, a little energy boost um, at the end of the day, came upon, like we we're in this green tunnel for a long time, meaning like just trees, you couldn't really see like many views, but um, came out of the green tunnel and there was like South Sister right in front of me with um, some snow on our glaciers and it was just so beautiful. I'll show you some footage. It just like took my breath away. So there was this, this area that was all clear with wildflowers and the mountain and uh, just like the volcanic rock around it. It was just so amazing to see. So I spent a lot of time just like strolling along there um, and I was playing some like epic, epic music um, in my one headphone. So um, yeah, that was really cool. So I'll also sh show you some footage of that. And um, we ended up camping with that view. So I, ha I did not put my rain fly on the night. <clears throat> and um, yeah, just like saw the sunset with a mountain in the background. And um, uh, also like had a beautiful view of the Milky Way. So um, I just like, when I went to bed, the Milky Way was like on one side of my tent. And then when I like woke up in the middle of the night, cause I tend to like wake up multiple times during the night. Um, it was like on the other side of my tent. So it was really cool to just kind of like look at the stars at night. Um, so yeah, really good week um, in Oregon. And I will update you guys soon on week 17. I'm currently at the highest point in Oregon and the sign also says Washington I'm not sure if that's right but um, mile 1860.8 I'll give you a look around here it's a bunch of trees there's the trail and then I'll show you the sign get a closer look here So we're just over 7,500 feet. And um, what's the date today? I think it's June 30th. Um, I just saw some snow. I walked over some snow patches. So interesting, there's still snow here. I guess it's to be expected because it was a wet year in Oregon and California. Um, but yeah, walked over some snow patches today. And I just learned from someone I passed by who was hiking southbound, um, who he's uh, native to Oregon. Um, he was saying that mosquitoes spawn in the ponds made by snow, melting snow, not necessarily, um, lakes or ponds, which I think still lakes and ponds, there are still some, but the majority of mosquitoes thrive off of melted snow ponds. So that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, made it to the highest point and I'm going to keep on trekking. Hope to do about a 25 mile day today. So, um, yeah, it is beautiful and hot. <laughs>
Good morning. Thought I would give you guys a another food tour, as promised in week three, I think. Outside of Big Bear, I did um, a food tour for a resupply in town. So this time, I'm gonna do a food tour for you guys um, with um, a resupply that I sent myself. So a little bit more healthy choices, but. I've added some things since I started, so I ordered a bunch of stuff for my mom to throw in. Um, because I found as I'm hiking, at least for me, snacks are everything. <laughs> um, and I didn't pack enough um, when I pre-prepared my boxes before I left for the PCT. Um, so yeah, I will go into that. And today, I am doing my first 30 mile day. <laughs> um, so I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, so I'll go into the snacks probably first and then go from there, but, um, hope you enjoy. So snacks, snacks are everything, um, as I've come to find out on the PCT, at least for me. So, um, I have my snacks in this little packet, um, on my pack. So I'm going to show you what I have. And these are like my morning snacks. Um, I usually have more of kind of the same at the end of the day. Um, so first is these Pro Bar Bolt, um, chews. So they have a lot of energy put them down here. <laughs> um, they give me a lot of energy and um, I had them when I went up Mount Whitney um, last year and they were just great. So um, I usually snack on those throughout the day. Um, that's it. Bar. Um, it's fruit. So this is apple and blueberries and that's it. So it's really nice and healthy. Um, I bought them in bulk like way ahead of time. So um, it's nice if you know um, I knew nine months in advance that I was doing this trail, so it's nice if you know ahead of time because you can get like some good deals online. Um, okay, Kind Bar, it's a small one. Um, so nice if you just need a little something to give you some energy. I got a big box or a couple big boxes from Costco, so that was really nice. Um, and then lastly, I learned about these on trail, Stroop Waffles. This one's by Goo, but there's also some good ones by, I think, Stinger. Um, so they're Dutch pancakes. <laughs> Um, really good for travel and um, you can put them on top of your coffee if you make coffee at home and um, There's like two waffles and in the middle there's syrup and it like melts when you put it over heat So it's really cool. I just eat them on the trail because it's convenient, but um, I never knew about them little Dutch pancakes So convenient and they're so good Lots of energy too. So those are my snacks um, for the morning and then I just kind of do more of the same maybe two more snacks in the afternoon depending on how far I'm going. Um, and so next is breakfast. Okay, so it's time for breakfast. Um, I am filtering some water and taking a break by, I'll show you, Bobby Lake. You can see it's really a nice view for breakfast. But fortunately, as you can tell from my head net, I'm in a swarm, so just have to deal with that. And um, for breakfast, I'm gonna be trying to be efficient, um, and I'll show you in a second, but I'm gonna be making um, quick oats. So Quaker, I really like the maple and um, brown sugar. And um, also, I love this, hot chocolate, so Lando Lakes, this is just the normal flavor, but they have like a ton of flavor. So I'm gonna be doing that at the same time, um, boiling one pot of water for both. So I will show you that um, in a second. Okay, so here you can see, I'm still cooking, but um, I boiled water in the main part of my um, titanium Vargo bot, and this is what works for my cooking system, um, just because I only have like one pot. <laughs> um, so I boiled the water um, in there, and then put the oatmeal on the top while it was boiling. Let me turn this down a little bit. Um, and um, to like toasted the oatmeal, because um, I like doing that at home anyway. <laughs> um, and then so just the oatmeal, took the lid off and poured some of the hot water on the top. And um, at the same time, I put the hot chocolate mix in there. And so you can see, still kind of letting it boil, but there's hot chocolate. And then the oatmeal on top. And I'm ready for breakfast with this nice view of Bobby Lake. So the food tour continues. Um, so I am gonna actually do lunch and dinner in one right now. Um, I 
think well first I'll show you where I'm at Dumbo Lake it's really beautiful here and I think it's a little I'm not sure if you can see that there we go I think it's a little too early to eat lunch right now but um who knows maybe I'll maybe I'll do that but I'm gonna show you lunch and dinner so first off I know you can't see what this is it's like shining <laughs> but um this is Patagonia provisions um salmon so it comes pre-seasoned so I think this one's lemon pepper um really good it's like a fillet of fish and a lot of times even at home I'll just like throw it in a salad and it makes it really great and um they practice sustainable sustainable excuse me fishing as well so that's kind of nice nice bonus um and I'll also have something with it so this is Trader Joe's pitted olives and it's nice because it's just a little um <clears throat> single serving pack so very nice I really like going to Trader Joe's for resupply if I can um in town which unfortunately there's not too many <laughs> along the trail but um they're really great for like snacks and they have a lot of gluten-free options too um so yeah Trader Joe's thumbs up for that <laughs> if you can get two Trader Joe's on trail I would do it um pretzels gluten-free pretzels and then a Snickers bar. So <laughs> I've come to find out that I have a Snickers bar every day now. Um, there's a lot of calories in it and it's not necessarily the healthiest thing, but it's um, easy access on the trail. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for lunch and then dinner. Um, I'm gonna cold soak tonight. So um, another Patagonia provisions, the chili, I'll have half of this. Um, for dinner and um, yeah it's organic gluten-free I really like Patagonia provision stuff um, and I actually got this on sale and also the salmon so if you know way ahead of time that you're gonna do a hike like this it's great to um, you know take advantage of the sales when you can <laughs> keep your eye on everything so chili and then sometimes I'll add um, I dehydrated this myself so they're dehydrated peas and lentils um, so I cooked them and then dehydrated them. So they're great to add to things like soup or chili. Um, also something I add to my chili to get more calories in is this um, roasted walnut oil. Um, you could do olive oil or whatever, but that, it just adds more calories. And especially it's nice when you do like 20 to 30 mile a day to get more calories in. So, um, and then another dessert, peanut and m and m So these are great because they... Um, don't melt uh and it's it's really hot up here in oregon so um, it's nice to have a dessert that doesn't melt so um yeah that is pretty much it for um my lunch and dinner and um, i'll usually have snacks throughout the day too which i went over earlier um so yeah hope you enjoyed and got some um some ideas for backpacking food Your update for week 16. Um, so I got new shoes at um, Shelter Cove. Um, so back to the Brooks Cascadia. So happy to have them. <laughs> um, and I sent some extra clothes I had home and some gloves while I had um, postal services at uh, Shelter Cove. So I sent a box home with that. Um, and unfortunately, my um, black diamond spotlight is um, not really working well anymore. So I changed the batteries a lot just to test it and keeps just like going out after two minutes or so or less. It just like progressively gets worse. So I'm gonna have to, when I get into Bend, her sisters go to Bend and to the REI and get a new one. Um, so yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, as far as gear this week, I think that's pretty much it. Um, not too much to report, but I am going to be going to REI, so I'm going to be making some like wardrobe changes because my pants are like holy and um, 
all that. So anyway, um, I will update you. I'll have <laughs> more of an update um, next week on the gear updates. So that'll be, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> so I'm over halfway done now with the trail and it's time for an update uh, just on my hiking wardrobe. So um, I will update you soon on that. Wounded Warrior Project update. Um, so since I have arrived in Oregon, um, different state, woo, um, I've decided since I am um, hiking to benefit the Wounded Warrior Project um, to do something a little bit fun. So um, if you donate on GoFundMe, you can um, search for um, Pacific Crest Trail Hike for Warriors. And it's also linked below this video. Um, uh, if you donate $20, I will send you personalized um, uh, postcard from wherever I'm at in Oregon. Um, if you donate 50, I will do the same for Oregon and when I'm in Washington. And if you donate a hundred dollars, I will do, um, do the same thing for Oregon, Washington. And then I am finishing the PCT in the Sierra. So I'll send you a postcard from those three, um, places. And, um, yeah, thank you in advance for donating. Um, and again, the link is below this video. Um, and again, it's GoFundMe. Um, Pacific Crest Trail Hike for Warriors and um, also if you donate um, and don't want to put your huh, address out there on the internet um, you can um, direct message me on social media or um, you can email me at ccontheTrail at gmail.com. Have a great day and um, thank you again for your